Hi guys, I'm Brother Mike James. I've been asked to talk to you a little bit about foot health today. Uh, I serve as a, a local podiatrist here in the town of Idaho Falls, and so those who don't know who what a podiatrist is, I deal with foot and ankle problems all day, every day. And so I guess I have a little bit of experience to talk a little bit about feet issues. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what to do, try to prepare yourself for the trek that's up and coming. I've got a few things I want to go through real briefly. This won't take long. Basically, number one, I want you to try to bring boots that fit your feet. Too many times people have a tendency to uh, bring boots that are a little bit too tight, a little bit too loose. I'm here to tell you that a tight boot will cause just as much problem as a loose boot, so be exceptionally careful that way. Try to wear shoes that you've already worn before, particularly those that you've broken in. Now a lot of us are not much into the hiking and so we don't have boots we can go in the garage and grab so you're going to have to go buy some new shoes or boots. Preferably try to buy something that comes above your ankle and more importantly than anything else I can tell you, break that baby in. Wear it a lot prior to the trek, a minimum of five miles total time uh, prior to the trek. Otherwise you will suffer the ramifications of having a boot that's being broken in. Unfortunately, your boots break your foot more than your foot breaks the boot in when you're first wearing them. Secondly, uh, re remember that your feet are constantly changing. This goes true for not only kids, but adults as well. Just because you wear, say, a size 8 and you've done so for the past 5 or 6 years, doesn't mean that you're going to continue to wear a size 8. And so for those adults, if you're reaching into that closet in the back grabbing that pair of boots that you haven't worn for years, it may not fit you now. And so try your boots on early, try to get some boots that will fit you appropriately. And again, if you have to buy new ones, break them in properly. Uh, thirdly, we want to take and condition our body and our feet. Oftentimes all it takes is just a little walking, uh, say three times a week, getting out and doing some walking, just to try to condition our body and our feet for taking on this walking. Most of us don't walk but about two, maybe three miles a, a day total and that usually comes with a lot of rest period in between and so try to get out there and start conditioning yourself so that it's not going to be a, a physical issue for you to carry out this track. Um, let's take a look at, um, let's get some light where I can see this. Oh, number, number uh, four, have simple things taken care of or looked at prior to the trek. Some, something as simple as an ingrown toenail a corn or just a, simply a painful callus that is, is nothing more than a nuisance can end up being a real problem halfway through the trek. If you have that evaluated uh, with a podiatrist or a uh, uh, family practice doctor, oftentimes we can take care of things like this very simply. Something like an ingrown toenail which is nothing more than a nuisance for most of us. If we have an active ingrown toenail you want to have that repaired prior to the trek, preferably a few weeks prior to the trek. There's some simple things that can be done, a very, very simple technique that can fix this on a permanent basis and so that the person never again has an ingrown toenail, but again, it should be uh, uh, taken care of prior to the trek. Now, moms, I know you're busy, you don't have time to take a look at your, your kids' feet a lot, but try to make sure their toenails have been cut prior to the trek. Uh, simply trimming a toenail can make a trek absolutely wonderful. Having long toenails on a, a, a trail that's unstable and unlevel can be very, very uncomfortable and it can be simply taken care of or avoided by just trimming toenails. Simple things such as this. Socks, let's talk briefly about socks. You know, they say that cotton kills. Cotton's not a bad idea if you're used to using cotton when you're doing some hiking. Uh, most hunters and hikers prefer to use wool. It's going to be plenty warm probably, so we probably won't need a thick wool sock. However, Wool's nice because it has a tendency to protect even if it gets wet or when it starts getting compressed it protects against friction better than cotton does. So usually a thin wool sock or even going to the sporting goods store and having uh, what they refer to as an underliner sock that you can pick up. These are not very expensive. They range anywhere between seven and twelve dollars. So stockings make a big issue. Secondly, and the, the con content of socks be sure that the kids bring an extra pair of socks for the second day of trek. That's two reasons. Number one, so they can maintain their friends. And number two, that a fresh, <laughs> clean pair of sock will be able to protect the foot much better than yesterday's sock will. So be careful that way. 
The sixth thing, a little hint. If we moisturize our foot prior to a big hike, this will have a tendency to increase the moisture content in the epidermal layer of our skin. Consequently, it protects it and gets it ready to take on a little bit more abuse than we're, we're used to giving our skin. So prior to the trek, put some lotion on your feet. In the middle of the trek, if you have time, put some lotion on your feet or creams or ointments. Um, lotions and creams have a tendency to moisturize better. Ointments are more just a sealant. They don't moisturize. The one thing you have to be cautious with with this, however, is if down the road we need to put a band-aid or moleskin on the skin, uh, the moistures and the creams will not allow it to stick very well. For a minimum of four hours after this has been applied, the moleskin or band-aid will not stick to the skin. So just some basic things, basic thoughts on foot care, trying to prevent these kids from having issues, and heck, adults. The adults will be having problems too, I guarantee. Good luck.